Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on that thumbnail to watch this video. But before we start the video, I'm going to ask you to click the join button down below. The one that, you know, says join, J-O-I-N, till you click it. When you click it, then we'll start the video. Yeah, you clicked it. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. It helps keep the light on. It helps keep videos rolling your way. All right. So today's video is going to be a uh, subscriber suggested video uh, by Casey Jones. Uh, he's been sent. He's mentioned it to me three times. I found another one, but it's not the right one. He sent me the link to the right one. And so we're doing it. And it's in that same vein of the OSs that I've been testing and checking out lately that uh, I've actually gotten a lot of responses on, and that's the um, pen testing uh, distributions. No, it's not Kali Linux. No, it's not Exodia. I know, it's weird because there's so many of them out there. Uh, but it is one that is based off of the parent distribution known as Predator OS. And what I'm talking about is Little Psycho Linux. That's right. Little Psycho Linux. Now, Little Psycho Linux is just that. It's a penetrating uh, software, so it's not meant to be a daily driver. It is not meant to be one. You can install it, of course, as you can with Kali Linux, but even Kali Linux tells you you don't want to install it and use it as a daily driver. No. It is meant for you to keep on a thumb drive. You boot into it. You can test the system you're on or boot into it as your system and test networks or whatever you want. And so that is what Little Psych Psycho Linux is. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right. And so here it is. Uh, I've opened up its page, uh, which you can find it at uh, predatoros.ir forward slash little psycho Linux. And what it is, is it's a slim down. It uses Ubuntu Mini 22.04 LTS. Uh, and it's equipped with the 5.10 LTS kernel. Uh, with the uh, Caden, uh, with the Caden, with the KDE desktop uh, in the LTS version installed uh, on it, and what is really, 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 really cool about it is um, they have taken and broke down their tools because they have a, a lot of pen testing tools in it. If you look, it's a live KDE. It's got the kernel 510, the login with the without an account password. It's got category, the categories, the way that they've installed their tools are. It's got destructive, live medium, and stress testing. Um, it is basically originated off of Predator OS and Emperor OS team. They've joined together and made this. Its package manager is apt, the synaptic, discover, and aptitude. It's lightweight with lossless drivers, no sound, no webcam, no printers. Uh, it has got firmware uh, included uh, by the Linux kernel drivers. It's got the SlimJet browser, which is a fork of, com of Chromium. It's fast, smart, and powerful browser based on Blink. Uh, it includes uh, 130 special tools uh, involved for destructive and stress testing. Now, if you look, these gives you, you know, the top key features about, you know, formatting tools, swiping tools, mounting tools, remove me everything tools, partition removers, hardware, yada, 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 yada. As you can see, they got fork bomb on here where you could stress test your network and stuff for like a ddos attack and stuff like that it's even got you know swap where you can actually manage your swap memory this is some pictures of the ga of the image galleries but so and then at the bottom has got the contact information so either way uh and you can click on here to download which uh let's see if you we close out of this browser we should be okay what the heck Let's see, before we do that, let's go to the About SlimJet. It is version 31.0. It's uh, based on Chromium 90.4. So, like I said, it's a fork of Chromium. Uh, they said some other thing on their webpage, but it's actually a, for, a cr uh, fork of Chromium. Now, this is what you're greeted when you first log into it. Now, I am in my virtual machine on this because I'm not installing it on hardware. I don't do pen testing. I have no need for pen testing distribution, so I'm choosing to do this on a virtual machine. Uh, it, you got these uh, wonderful icons up here at the top that are already on your desktop. One is a user's text. If you oh, click on it, though, it doesn't 
do anything. It's blank text, so I don't know if it's what the issue is on that. But if you go to the web page right there in the description where it tells you what it is, if you go to the bottom, you see the download document PDF reader. You can download a PDF reader and open it up, and you could read uh, what you can do with this distribution. Uh, it breaks it down into the categories as well as um, uh, what each one does. So it's kind of cool. But if you like, click on, let's see, mount the KDE disk. It scans, and there's a disk right there that it's wanting to mount. You can do whatever you want with that. You can apply it, you create a new partition, you can do whatever you want to do to destroy it. It's crazy. So, I mean, it's got those already shortcuts on there, a GNOME one, a G-parted one, and then a disk uh, script, a mount one. So if you open it, this is what it gives you. Uh, it's basically like a F disk in, um, in terminal. It tells you what you're looking at for your, your hard drive. So there's that. Now, also at the bottom, it's your standard KDE panel, which has got your application launcher on the side here. And then your startup, your pinned startup programs right here, which is your Dolphin File Manager, Thunar, which they've got both installed, two file managers. Uh, there you go. It's got console. Then it's got CPU X. When you click on that, it should tell you about your CPU, which is really nice. As you can see, you could run as root or you can just run as user, but you know, root gives you a little bit more, uh, flexibility to read certain things. Uh, then you've got actual, uh, cases guard installed, which is there. And that, if you click on there, it tells you system load. It's also your process table here, so you can kill processes there. Then next uh, is your general, your TUI version of K6 Guard, your system load monitor, which is known as HTOP. Same thing, you can kill processes, yada, yada. Then next to that is probably one of the most kick-ass tools in Linux, and it's Stacer. I really, really like it. It reminds me a lot of CC Cleaner. Only difference is, is it gives you uh, a system load, but you could also uh, kill automatic startup applications. You could also do a cleaner where you can clean for orphan packages and empty your trash and all that stuff. It cleans all, you know, duplicate logs, all that kind of crap in here, man. So, I mean, there's a lot you can do with Stacer. Stacer is a pretty awesome program. It's kind of like a, uh, like an optimizer suite of tools. Um, so that comes installed out of the box. Well, let's close it. Wait, do, do, do. Why are you close? Close, close, close. Oh, that's why. Quit. All right, so there's that. Uh, then over here on the right hand side, you have your uh, system tray with your time, your date and time. Uh, that is not correct because I have not installed it, so it's just going by whatever the you know time is for their install, which is somewhere in Europe somewhere. Uh, and then you have your collapsible notifications right here. And then uh, for launch, it launches Stacer, which you can quit right here. Then you've got updates and then clipboard and then removable devices or most recent devices. And this one right here will show your desktop. So there's that. So now that's the basic rundown. It's got the basic applications, of course, for development. You got Genie and all that good stuff, right? I mean, I'm not going to go down the, the everything that's installed in here for Internet, you know. The Slim Jet, you know, for system settings is your standard KDE settings. Uh, systems got pretty much all your standard system tools in here. Um, they don't have everything. Like you'll notice, there is no real installer program installed on here. Um, so uh, it leads me to believe you got to install it through command line. But either way, uh, it's got DD Rescue Rescue View on there. They got Catfish. They got all kinds of, you know, uh, it's cool cool stuff in there. But this right here is where all the important stuff is that you're going to need. And that is the little psycho tools. They got it broken down into mounting scripts, which are the ones that you'll see like for G parted, uh, gnome disc media. They got disc image mounter, disc image writer, analyzer, G parted tools, KDE connect. They've got all that good stuff right now. If you wait a minute, that for mounting now for partition formatter you've got f disk you've got flash usb g part of tools g smart control anything that has to do with partitioning right 
Nah, you go to wipe a hard disk. These are all like bleach it. They got bleach it as root, disk filter test, flash ROM, memory utility so you can clean memory, uh, overwrite hard disks, remove empty folders, secure delete, which is a system uh, uh, memory wiper. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of uh, secure delete, you know, for secure remove. You know, I mean, they've got all scrub. Right here, you know, which could, you know, write patterns and delete files and, and create systems, you know, in free spaces and stuff to make it so that you can't use any tools like get back data or a information retrieval tool in any way, shape or form. So you can literally zero out your hard disk with, with wiping with zero. Uh, yeah, I mean, they've, they've got all these destructive tools that are that are there for that. Remove everything that uh, removes all deletes all files and folders and a mounted hard disk, which you choose. So if you want to hurry up and quick delete uh, uh, a hard drive for whatever reason or a folder for some re reason. You've got that tool there. I mean, they've got Shredder. I mean, they've got all these kind of specialized tools here. Partition remover, of course, that's for, you know, partitioning and editing your partitions. Hardware test tools. This is kind of cool. they got cache info where you can measure, you test your cache, CPU info, CPUX, both as normal user and root. Disk scan, disk type, hardware stress tester. You can do hard, hard desk benchmarking, internet bandwidth helping, uh, real and uh, also they got tools to, to do testing on it. I mean, IO buffers. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can use tune GUI I mean you can even speed up your GUI LSHW I mean there's all kinds of really cool tools I mean this is really really complete I mean this isn't just like pen testing this is actually like for like securing a desktop or you know having like if you're need to really secure and wipe the hard drives and that kind of stuff I mean they've got all kinds of cool stuff they even got fork bombs Look at this. They got fork bomb with TCP dump. I mean, so you can do some, you know, testing stuff and get traffic and all kind. I mean, they got tons of cool ass tools on here. I mean, this is insane. I mean, if you're into pen testing or securing, a, a, you know, a, a desktop or having, a, you know, something that you want to nuke, a, nuke some hard drives with, man, this is your tool. Um, swap management. This is kind of cool. So you can manage swap files on, on hard drives and stuff like that. You can remove them. You can clean them. You can do swap on and off. You can, you know, set your swapping to zero, swapping to 100, just with the clicking on with the click. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, also for user controlling stuff, you could, um, list all the packages on a, on a hard drive. You can list the current users. Um, Stacer, you got the package manager, the Uku kernel update utility, and you can edit your users in groups. I mean, they've even broken it down into that kind of stuff. So they got a lot of cool tools built into this. Now, is this a system that you want to use as a daily driver? Obviously not. That's a given. Anybody can tell you that. If you do, more power to you, but why? You know what I mean? This is cool to have on a jump drive boot into it when you need to fix whatever it is that you need to fix it it's more of a tool system than it is a uh, entertainment or enjoyment system unless you enjoy hacking your wi-fi and your network and destructing your hard drives and restructing reconstructing them or whatever um then yeah but as a cool tool man i'm telling you what man this is definitely a technician's operating system dream and and a uh, very viable use if you're a technician uh but as a new to linux user no as a daily driver no but I, I think it's fantastic and uh the actual anime background is pretty freaking cool too and and you know just the the whole theme of it is pretty cool so yeah i definitely like this thanks for sending this to me mr casey i really really enjoyed this one this was kind of cool i'm putting this uh up there i mean it's like Cali and then this right here, man. This is pretty cool, man. Uh, I've been tried Predator West. I might take a look at that one too because that kind of turned me on to this one too. So, either way, guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Thumbs up. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm. Join the channel. Buy me a coffee. Uh, the link will be in the description. Uh, move, trying to move away from Patreon. Uh, I'm going to tell my one and only Patreon that we're moving away from there. If you go to buy me a coffee, that'd be great uh, instead of renewing on Patreon. So, yeah, that's it. Guys, you guys keep doing what you do. Keep on Linuxing. Stay safe, stay blessed, and have a great day.